So I have another development in my dilemma with this. The piston evidently was parked in the all the way full up position, which pushes the piston out this way. So now the piston is too far back to get the snap ring out. So I guess I, guess I gotta try to shove this, the piston back in. Uh, I'm gonna try to do that with a port of power. See if that puts enough pressure on, just shove it. Maybe that and a couple taps with a hammer. Well, I got a crazy idea. I squirted some PB blast down the port that goes to that cylinder and put some air pressure to it. I was able to just run a 3 8 pipe tap in there and put that uh, nipple on there and I, I'm just gonna leave pressure on it. See if it shoves some of that PB blast in there and frees it up a little bit. Then I'll probably try the port of power again, see if I can get it to move. I, if I can get it to move enough so I get the snap ring out, then I could put it in the press, shove the thing apart and uh, fix it. Okay, stupid idea, 6,127. <laughs> <laughs> Got a port of power in there. Idea. Huh? I think it's a good idea. Well, I don't know what else to do. Especially if you get some back and forth action going between yeah. the air pressure and the port of power. So if this breaks it loose, we get the air pressure pushing down, this pushing back up. I put pressure on it with some PB blast yeah. in there. Just like relieving any kind of cylinder. And then I dangled it so all the PB blast to go down to the piston side. Yep, where it belongs. Heat it up a little bit too. It's not hot, but it's warm. Bottom line is we couldn't find a rebuild sleeve and, uh, no. and piston setup. But I also can't get the sleeve out anyway. Because yeah. the piston's out too far and I can't you pull can't the snap ring. Yeah. So we gotta move this no matter what we do. Even yep. if we gotta get new parts, this has gotta get moved. Yeah. I'm so. sure there's a lot of guys out there with this exact prop. There is. Yeah. So you gotta You see it, it on off. forums all the time. Oh my draft arm's stuck up. Yeah. There's a lot of doom and gloom going on. <laughs> the forums. Oh, have you tried taking it to the dealer? Oh, you screwed. <laughs> no, I'm on a forum so that somebody might answer my question, not just give me stupid comments like take it to the dealer. Anyway. <laughs> It sounds like you've had it with the forums. Uh, you really got to weed through the forums. I don't know, man. Watch well, blow the piston out. Well, blow the center of it right out? Yeah. I don't know about that. That is tight. Well, so let's soak some more. Let it soak some more. You know what? I might get the uh, the big torches, the oxypropane over here and heat it right yeah, out. Yeah, maybe two of those map gas. Two map gases? Two map gas will do a pretty good, too. Okay, so that didn't work. No. I guess we'll just uh, give it more time. I don't want to do it now. I know. Yeah, well. Okay, more time, I guess. So I put this valve back together, put in some new O-rings, cleaned up what I could in there. I didn't tear it all down because everything seems to work freely. So I'm going to put it back on and we'll see if it works. And if it don't, uh, I saw an ad for one of these re rebuilt for 200 bucks. So I don't think that's too bad. If I have to, I'll buy, buy that. And if I don't, that's better yet. Jumping fabricators, fat man. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> as long as I'm Batman. You're Batman. So, uh, yeah, this is the wrong pan. Yeah, we got the wrong pan. Must be we needed the uh, A33016. It's, it is something like that. I found one online for $300. Yeah, we ain't got time for that. Plus another $150 for shipping. Yeah, and then waiting. Teetering of $500. And all this stuff. And right now I'm at about two and a half hours of sitting around. And pretty much what I'm making is a pan extension. Yeah, fabricating. Uh, yeah, so. Some people might think, you oh, you braze that on. Yeah, some people being me. Well, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna have it. I don't wanna ruin this pan necessarily. So we're gonna seal this surface and then we're gonna put this here and we're gonna cap over everything. And it's gonna go into factory bolt locations. Once you start putting it together, how much Permatex do you think it'll take? Funny. Whole tube? <laughs> I think I'm gonna overdo the Permatex, but, but it should work well because uh, what I did was I took a file and I filed down the casting mark here so yeah, that it's, so all things flat now. So that it's like a nice yeah. kind of plane there. It's not perfect by any means. Oh, that, that does feel good. It feels just flat. Uh, when I made this, I did the same thing. I ground and filed it. So we're going to permatex them and then put a little bit of gasket in between. It's going to be right like that. So it'll seal it off. And, and then, then bolt I, everything tight. Clamp right now it down I'm tight. Making a cap that's going to lock the two pans together. So these holes don't go anywhere. So I'm going to put bolts through those and lock lock everything together. Mm -hmm. And then I've got these here. I've got to actually grind away at this. That's the most, the hardest part for the pan is grinding them. Right, because this this matches the tractor, but the rail. Yeah. This hole here. So he's got to yeah. finish looping that out so we can bolt What there. Case did was they went from, uh, from this squared off pan 
because of the front timing cover. And when they rounded it, they made it longer, so yep. we're just making an extension. So that is going to get capped over. It's going to seal off oil. It's going to be nice and rigid and tied together, and it's going to work. Continuing our Case 830 saga. So Connor used the porta power, and he pushed the piston out of this thing. Right in this spot right here, I was able to tap that. It's not a real great tapping, but it was enough to get that pipe to hold, and we used the porta power. I just kept filling it with oil until we had enough to shove the piston out. It's full of this nasty, gooey, watered up oil that was in this whole tractor that I'm, I'm trying to get rid of. And I don't know if I get a good picture of it up in there. That sleeve just slides into this whole casting. There's the sleeve. This is the only window. It's fed by this port. I have this nipple in here for uh, hooking up air. So I've been using brake clean. I put brake clean in and blow the air out and trying to get the snot blown out of it. Once it starts blowing out clean, I'm gonna hone that out. <clears throat> Get rid of that junk and uh, just clean it up. It's going to be pity a little bit and it's not going to be perfect anymore, but I think it'll last a long time. Oh, this piece up here spins independently. I don't know if that's supposed to be that way or what. I'll have to look in the book, see what's going on. Well, I just checked the book. The cylinder is just an open-ended cylinder, so whatever's up there, it's just a washer or some sort of, I don't know exactly what. Really don't see it in the exploded detail, but I'm not going to worry about it because it's going to be what it is. So I got that mostly cleaned out. I'm going to try blowing it out some more. WD-40. Lube up the cylinder. I'm not too worried about a big cross hatch like I would for rings. I'm just trying to clean it up. I'm using a very fine stone too. Very worn out, but fine. That looks better already. A little more lube in there. But now I don't, I'm pretty sure there won't be any rusty high spots. Yeah, I'll try cleaning it out some more. Especially since I got my air pressures back up. Okay, I got this 
This is the piston for the lift arms, and there's a little bit of rust on it, and I can feel it. You know what I mean? It's, it's up, it's high. Most of this I was able to scrub off with this green scrubby, but this won't come off. So I'm using a little bit of emery cloth. It's a 120 grit. It's going to knock the rust off with that. Right here, I, you can see it. it's raised. Now, I'm going to sand it down. You're still going to see pits and stains. But as long as I can't feel it, I think I'm just good to go. Then we're going to put the uh, wipers on and seals and put it together and oil it up. And then slide it in. The thing consists of a couple wipers. There's a wiper top and bottom. They're just like a fibrous wear ring kind of thing. They're supposed to slide in there and keep things going square. And they go here, one goes here. And then it's got a set of, they're like an O-ring, but they're flat with a groove on one side. Flat on one side, grooved on the other. So that sandwiches, the flat side goes towards the metal, the groove goes towards the O-ring. I think this was originally screwed up because this came out like this, and I think when they originally installed it, it I, you know, back all those years ago that happened. But now we're uh, gonna install this one. I got it oiled up, and I'm gonna slip it into the cylinder. I used a little bit of Mobile One. I hope that's okay. Synthetic oil, but it's the slipperiest thing I know. So that's what we're gonna do. Give that a try. Well, that's my phone buzzing. Must be somebody wants me. Nah, that's not likely. I've got the wipers positioned with the gaps. They're about two and 10 o'clock, and I'm gonna point them to the top. So doing this, I'm gonna put them on the downside. All I gotta do is find it. There it is, there's one, there's the other. Okay, just like this. This little piston weighs right up. Wow, heavy. Okay, that's oiled all the way around. Let's see if I can tap it in there. I don't know if this is the proof method or not. Of course, I got the book, maybe I had a look. Nah, we can figure this out. Oh, it's nice and smooth too. I don't know if I can push it by hand. Looks like I can. Now the next step, wipe that out. Make sure the wood splinter's stuck in there. All right, I think we're doing all right. Sure, a lot of work to get some three-point hitch going on this old tractor. But we want to use a brush hog. Well, maybe we'll get a three-bottom plow or something. We'll run around and plow up some um, feed plots for the deer. Guys, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, like and subscribe, and see you on the next one.